Hey, what's going on, guys? It's Jeff Beauty 87 here, and today we're we'll trying to do a little like bluish, um, greenish look with the um, Charlotte Tilbury, the iconic palette. The I'm sorry, the icon palette. Uh, I bought this during 20 of uh, the um, Sephora VIB sale. Of course, if you haven't seen the haul, I will link it up above. But yeah, so this is what it looks like. And of course, y'all knew I was gonna have to use the blue and the green, right? Okay, I'm glad. I'm glad we was all aware because I had to check and see how it was working. And as you can see, it's more of like a satin finish. So needless to say, I am disappointed. We all know just from the Milk Cosmetics video that I did with the um the Shape Shift stack that I I don't like satin. So this palette alone is just a disappointment to me because of satins, and I don't like satins. I don't know what the purpose of satins are. They irritate me. I hate them. They should not exist. Anyway, <laughs> um, I used this color, this color, and like these two. And then I put the gold in the inner corner just to make a look. But I might actually be returning this palette, y'all. I don't know. I'm not. I really just do not like the fact that the, you know, exciting pops of color are like satin. Anyway. Let's get started on the eyes. I don't know why I'm doing this because it's like literally a mirror right there in front of me. I need to get my life away. I, I don't know, y'all. What's wrong? Um. Yeah, so Adrian Game Over is gone. So um, I had to try to film Instagram videos tomorrow. He went with his dad. So I'm going to try to get him to film my Instagram videos tomorrow because I want to. Um, I want to do the Jade Crystal Collection. But I'm like, I think I'm going to do that. Like, I'm sorry, of the Crystal what is it crystal Ca cavern collection from wet and wild because i just bought that stuff if y'all don't follow jeb 87 on instagram you should because like i said before that's how you find out what videos you're gonna be getting for the next two next weekend or whenever um i have content but um next we're gonna go in with this color right here um i'm gonna be filming like for the next like I think two or three days because I got, a, as y'all saw, like I said, if you didn't see this before haul, I bought a lot of crap. Like, I bought a ridiculous amount of crap to this. I don't even, like, I think I spent like $500 or something ridiculous like that. Like, that's how much stuff I bought, y'all. And the crazy thing is, I don't feel like I got that much. I mean, the box was full and, like, the bag was somewhat full, but it was like, it was this bag right here. But it's like, it's not the bag in the big. It's not like I got the huge bag. Cause like, I feel like I didn't get that much for my money, but like, you know, I don't know. I like all the stuff I got so far from what I've tried. Like, uh, this is my third video right now that I'm filming with trying all the stuff out. So, I mean, I I liked everything so far to get to this palette with these damn satins. Um, I'm going to use this NYX glitter glue to, um... And then I had to like spray the brush on top of that just to get it it's like foil and nice looking as it does now. I mean I really like the mats in here, so it's like I might keep it just like for that. But like if this how her um shimmer eyeshadow formula is, then I'm like I don't wanna know. I like boom pow in your face shimmers and it's just like, oh I'm cute and soft and satiny, like no I ain't got time for that. We need to bam, pow, right in people's face. Like you need to see my eyeshadow. From a mile away, sis. That's how you need to know it's me. Because you saw the eyeshadow from a mile away. So I'm not really feeling this just because it's so damn soft. What, what did I put that? Oh. And I'm going to just use this Catrice Dewey Setting Spray. I bought this based, because, based upon um, Kathleen Light's um, having it. And I know she really likes Dewey Skin. So I was like, okay, it should be nice. I actually don't like this setting spray for um, what it is. I feel like it doesn't really, like, make my skin look dewy. But then again, I um, pushed the setting spray into my um, skin, so that might be why I don't necessarily like it. The way that she likes it, because she just lets the fan blow over it. I usually put a matte one on top of a dewy one just because of my skin type. I have oily combination skin, so, like, realistically, I feel like that shouldn't work for me. And that's why um, I guess I don't like it. But it's good to like say spray your brush when you need to deal with satins and try to make them look like halfway decent and foil and give you some kind of pigmentation. Because at first, like I felt like there was no pigmentation on my eye or anything when I did this look, so I was not feeling it at all. And then I'm gonna take the green one at the top, of course, because we already talked about what I was gonna do. And um, I guess I'll just well no, 
go ahead and spray that too. Well, I might as well show. Um, just pat this on top. Yeah, but this is my first Charlotte Tilbury palette ever too. So I'm like so disappointed. I'm like, does she do satins in every palette? Like, because I f wish I had known this ahead of time so I could like, you know, just skip out on this palette. Not that, like I said, not that the mattes aren't nice, but like, I feel like this eye look is not cute in any way. It's just kind of like meh and like passable and I could have made this look with like some other eyeshadows. It wouldn't have cost me nearly as much. So y'all just learning like the extent of my hatred of satin shadows because like really that's really why I'm hating this because it's like the satin shadow. I think I'm going to have to go back over with the glitter glue again because the first time I did it off camera I didn't put the glitter glue on I just put the shadow on top and I can definitely tell the difference in like um the way it looked so I'm going to actually tap some more glitter glue on top of this and then try to go with the green over and it so like that will make a difference because right now it just looks really like patchy and horrible to me and I'm not feeling it at all so let's just tap this on top Yeah, I'm going to title this video is The Charlotte Tilbury Icon Palette was a fail for me because I'm really not liking how this is looking at all. Mm, like, it looks okay, but it's not like anything exceptional to where I feel like she deserves 65 of my hard-earned dollars for this palette. Like, it is not giving me those vibes at all. Like, whenever I buy from Milk Cosmetics and they'd be like... Um, 40 something, 50 dollars. I feel like you know it's worth it though because I feel like the quality is there for it. For this, I'm just kind of like, eh. like I could have made this look with the palette I already own and been fine. But since we're here, let's finish it off. But if you can't tell by the sound of my voice, I am disappointed in this palette. Maybe I need to use different brushes the next time I use this. Because I'm going to like do a boring like rose goldish type look with it too since I already own it. Um. Oh yeah. If I was going to do some eyeliners, what I do with those eyeliners? That's what's in the bag. Okay, so I'm going to use the... um. I couldn't decide if I need to use like Mainline or if I need to use Overdrive. And oh, those are two shadows that are on my eyelid. I was swatching them to see like was it just me or was it like pigmentation not there or what. So this is Mainline. And this is Overdrive. I'm trying to figure out which one to use. Which one y'all think? I'm kind of thinking Overdrive. Because I'm kind of feeling that. So we're going to use that. I hope you didn't say Mainline. Um, my bad. Because I'm feeling Overdrive. So you can go ahead and... Put that on the right here. And think about just going ahead and smudging like the gold underneath here. And then we call it a day. For this look here. Um so yeah, let's just get a pencil brush and smudge that underneath the lower lash line and then I will be done with this look. So we're gonna take Andrea Renee's and um Peach and Pearl brush and we're gonna take that gold shade right here that I use in the inner corner and just smudge that along the um bottom of the lash line. little stick because this seems like a really glittery shade and it's not one to cooperate thank you that's a little bit better too when I'm sorry about the lawnmower my mom had her lawn people come so, if you hear that, I'm sorry. Um, okay, so, this is the finished look with the Charlotte Tilbury, the Icon palette. I hope you enjoyed this video and this look we created. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.